A homeless man in Bloomington now charged with murder after a man was found shot to death in the parking lot of a strip mall. This is now at least the third time that a homeless person has been involved in a homicide in that city in recent months, and it's raising some safety concerns. How does it make you feel knowing that that happened here? You know what, to be honest with what's going on today, you're not surprised. Jim Reed comes to this strip mall for doctor's appointments a few times a month and says it's a popular hangout for the homeless. I come over here for an early appointment and they're sleeping on the sidewalks. They're sleeping under the trees. They're everywhere. So it was no shock to him that a man was found shot to death here early Tuesday morning. Police arrested 56 year old Scott Cooper after they found him sleeping in a van that had a bullet hole through the windshield. In new court documents, Cooper admitted to shooting the victim from inside his van, telling police the victim was messing with him and wouldn't leave him alone. He also made several puzzling statements, telling detectives he couldn't say what the victim and he were fighting about because it was a quote, national security secret. Unfortunately, it's a familiar story. Late last year and early this year, two homeless people were arrested, accused of murdering their fellow residents at this homeless encampment. Bloomington Mayor Kerry Thompson has made addressing homelessness a top priority, citing public safety in part. The mayor denied our interview request today, but instead sent us a statement, saying in part, quote, we are deeply concerned about the violence taking place in encampments across the city. That's why we are continually working with social services agencies to clear encampments and to find appropriate shelter and other resources for our neighbors experiencing homelessness, but some say that work isn't happening fast enough. I don't believe that they address the issue like they should. All they're doing is they're putting the public in danger, just like what happened here yesterday morning. Now, Cooper is scheduled to make his initial court appearance tomorrow morning. You could read more details on this investigation online at CBS4Indy.com. Just look for more on the front of our homepage. Next at five, other parts of